Camilla flew privately to secretly meet Charles on foreign trips, personal pilot claims. A new documentary claims the Queen used to fly by private jet to rendezvous with the King on official overseas visits in the 90s. At the time of one of the alleged flights, Charles was still married to Diana and Camilla to Andrew Parker Bowles. A new documentary reportedly claims that the Queen used to fly by private jet to secretly meet up with the King while he was on official foreign visits and still married to Diana, Princess of Wales. Squadron leader Graham Laurie, Charles's former personal pilot, tells of the pair's romantic meetups, saying, they were getting together overseas but the press didn't cotton on. In the documentary, My King Charles, another contributor claims Diana had an affair with a bodyguard. Barry Manicky, and became furious when he was transferred to other obligations, according to a report. Mr. Lorry tallied over 2,000 royal flights during his time as one of a pool of pilots based at RAF North Alt in West London between 1981 and 2000. The majority were with the former Prince of Wales, but he also was responsible for flying Diana's body back home from France following her death in August 1997. He said, as regards Camilla, I didn't ever fly her but we did see her involvement in certain trips when we went abroad. There would be a civilian charter aircraft on the tarmac before we got there and it was still there when we left. I found out afterwards that actually, Camilla had flown in and out on that aircraft. The film will become available on Amazon on May 6, Coronation Day. The Mail on Sunday reports that Mr. Lorry did not know who paid the bill for Camilla's flights, according to sources at U.S. broadcaster Paramount. A minimum of one flight was allegedly made in 1994 when Camilla was still married to Andrew Parker Bowles, and Charles was yet to divorce Diana. Also featuring in the program is former Royal Protection Officer Alan Peters who claims Diana became enraged when he attempted to stop an alleged affair between her and Barry Manicky, another bodyguard. He said, I was in my office at Kensington Palace and she was in the doorway throwing her shoes at the back of my head, upset because she was putting the blame on me. Sergeant Peters worked for Diana then, while Manicky was allocated to her sons, three-year-old William and one-year-old Harry. He said, I started to notice her conduct in the presence of Manoki getting more and more strange. As far as I could ascertain they were having an affair. Mr. Peters said Diana launched into a fury after Manoki, who later died in a motorcycle crash in 1987, was reallocated to other responsibilities. He said, she was distraught. I can categorically say that the first person that strayed in the marriage was the princess.